Day five, it's the final day here from Radio Row ahead of Super Bowl 57 in Arizona. Sorallo Sports Talk special with me, Joe Sorallo, and the legend, CJ2K, Chris Johnson, my man. It's great to see you again. Good, yeah, good to see you too, man. So, CJ, I got to start off with a hometown question because obviously you're known for your time with the Titans. Right. But you did end your career in Arizona. Right. Three years with the Cardinals. So, right. I've been going out all week. It's been a lot of fun here. What was your favorite spot to go out in Scottsdale? Um... Anywhere in Old Town. Old like, Town? Yeah, on, yeah, anywhere in Old Town, you know, they got a, like, it's a whole bunch of bars and stuff right there. You know in that spot right I've there. I've become familiar with it. Yeah, it's my first familiar. time here, it's but so, I've become familiar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So whatever, whatever type of place you want to go to, whatever type of music you want to go to, they got all, a whole bunch of different varieties. So you get dropped off in Old Town, you good. Just get dropped off and walk around yeah. and make your rounds, right? Yeah, make your rounds. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Hey, I want to talk about your Tennessee Titans. Because obviously, man, that's a team that you represented for a long time. Mm. They looked like they were in a great position. First 10 games right. of the year, things came crashing down. Right. What do you think they need to change next year in Tennessee to make sure that they get back on top of the AFC South? Um, I think we just need a, our defense playing real good ball mm. right now. I just think we need some help on offense. We get us a quarterback. We get us some receivers, some playmakers outside where they yeah. can't stand the box on there. Um, I think we'll be all right. I think we'll get right back to where we usually is, you know. Yeah, playoffs. So, so you think it's time for a quarterback change? Yeah, I think I think so. What do you want to see happen there? Who do you want? Um, I wouldn't mind if it, if I was if I was able to pick, I would go a rod. Oh Where, well, I'd four go, days in total darkness. I don't know what's yeah, gonna come out of that. Yeah, I go a rod. You know what I'm saying? But you know, you got Derek out there. Um, yeah. Know what I'm saying? So any, anyone those guys i'm cool with that absolutely man hey outside of derrick henry obviously because he's a stud and he's your guy who is your favorite running back to watch in today's nfl uh, i got a few nick chubb okay um dalvin cook okay. um i like um i like watching on uh, saquon my guy yeah yeah, yeah. my guy yeah that was a couple was all a right couple do you think saquon's gonna get that deal that record-setting deal to stay with the giants or do you think he's gonna be on a new uh new team next year um I think they probably franchise tag him. To okay, be you don't think I he's going to get extended, though? Um, I, I think they kind of want to see, wait and see, can he stay healthy? Right. He hasn't been, he, he been healthy his whole career, so right. I would hope for him to get the deal. Um, Depending on what they got going on over there, I think their quarterback is up, too. Daniel Jones is up, too. Yeah, they got two big decisions they to make. They got two big decisions to make, and from what I know, what I've seen happen in prior years, like Tennessee – did the same thing. They pay um Tannehill. Yeah. And um they waited on um Henry. Right. So I think they'll probably pay Dane Jones and then tag tag Saquon and then probably pay him the year after. Right, right. Something like that. So look, we're in the convention center right now in Phoenix, and right next door in the convention center last night was the NFL honors. They announced the new Hall of Fame class. Of course, five new members, nine members total. You were one of the original finalists on this year's Hall of Fame ballot. First off, congratulations on that. Thank you. I mean, you must have had the best, I think, four-year run of any running back I've ever seen. You set six NFL records. You break Marshall Fox's record for yards from scrimmage in a single season, man. Out of all of it, what was your favorite moment? My favorite moment was probably breaking that Marshall Fox record. Yeah. Yeah, it probably was the favorite moment. Like, a lot of people talk about the 2,000 yards and this and that. Like, it's... When I did it, I was the sixth guy to do it um, or whatever like that. But when you talk about the Marshall Park record, like the 2,500 yards, like I'm the only guy in history that ever done that. Yeah, man. Like no other guy in history has ever had over 2,500 yards. I'm the only one who done it and it just speak about him. Yeah, so I've had Marshall on the show a few times. He's one of my favorites. Right. Is he, for a dual threat running back, the gold standard? Did you look up to Marshall coming in because you were so dangerous, not only as a runner, but also as a receiver? Um, I can't lie. No, not really. I really? looked up to Barry. Barry was your Barry. guy, huh? Barry was my guy. I watched film on Barry. Um, always watched Barry highlights. I wanted to be like Barry. Barry was my guy. But Marshall Falk was a dog. He was the best. He was man. a dog. He was amazing. Catching out of the backfield, um, running the ball, all those different type of things. Barry was, I mean, not Barry, but Marshall was crazy. Absolutely. So, CJ, last question before I let you go. I know you do a lot with BetMGM. Right. What is your favorite Super Bowl prop bet for the big game this Sunday? Um, Do you have a couple of them? What, what, what How they about got this? We'll talk rushing for Patrick Mahomes because this is my favorite. Mm. The over-under is 19 and a half yards. Everyone's talking about the high ankle sprain. I think he's healthier than people admit. 
Do you think Mahomes gets 20 or more yards on the ground? I don't think so. No, okay. I don't think so. All right, well, I've we're had a, yeah, back. I had a high ankle sprain and I know how they feel. They don't they don't just heal like that. All right. That's well, why I feel like that's why I feel like they kind of changed the offense a lot to like standing in the pocket. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So All right. Well, we'll I'm see. taking the over. You, you got over. the under. I got the under. Maybe we'll put a ball to kill on. I'm going to circle yeah. back with you on that one. Let's do it. <laughs> CJ2K. We'll be back with more from Sorallo Sports Talk at Radio Row this week.